Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of January 28th through February 3rd, 2019. I do apologize I haven't done a weekly in a while. I've had a lot going on but um, here I am. Every deck that I am using is listed in the description box below along with um, you know the crystals I'm using. Just everything you see here I get a lot of questions about um, the stuff I use. So if you're curious, I have listed it for you. No need to ask. Just look below. So let's see who you are this week, Sagittarius, or who you should be, or the energy from the non-physical coming in to really support you. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Ooh, nice. So we got the Orca Well and we have Adventure. It says, dare to do things differently, sing your wild song, manifest your travel dreams. So some of you dreaming of a trip of some kind, there you go. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be, lo be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. So there's a few different messages here apply you know apply the one that fits the most for you but uh, this is nice there is something going on this week or something you're planning this week that's really fun and exciting to you a lot to look forward to it doesn't look like um, just the normal mundane blase you know same old energy same old same old. And, and this I'm trying to make it so it's all right, that's as best as I can get it. So if it still has a bit of a glare, I'm so sorry. So let's add to this energy, Sagittarius. I want to see what's going on, like more earthly matters. Okay, ooh, we got the red squirrel. Resourcefulness, vigilance, preparation, busyness. So... I feel like this really uh, backs up the Orca well here because, you know, here we're talking about adventure and planning, being really excited, a lot going on, and um, here we have the kind of the same energy but in a different form. This is uh, far more spiritual and this is more of the physical, the mundane, okay? We are preparing for something. We're studying, we're purging, we're... Um, learning something, we're preparing for something. Um, you could have some important date coming up, uh, like something to celebrate or something you're going to do or the completion of something this week. So Sagittarius, very busy, fast-moving energy. It's like where you're preparing, you're doing something. And um, so far, so good, though. So let's take a look at some of the energies that are coming in around you this week. As far as other people go and other people being involved in your world. Okay, ooh, we got the Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. Uh, so Sagittarius, even though you are preparing and planning something here, um, it's kind of you're jumping into the unknown. You're having to take a leap of faith. Uh, probably maybe a quick decision to be made about something. Um, you know, you could get an invitation of some kind. And it just, you have to make like a quick decision. Whatever it involves. Or again, um, you're really preparing. You're believing in something. You're taking a leap of faith in something. And funneling your energy, your resources, your ideas. And... Um, the people around you and also involved are just as much on board, okay? Um, they don't see the road ahead any more than you do, really, but also with Bobcat Spirit, um, if there's somebody in your space a around you that's kind of feeling secretive or like you... You get energy, you get feelings, you get ideas about them, but there's just like some sort of block barrier, something that you feel is hidden beneath the surface. Definitely believe that there is. However, I don't feel that it's malicious. 
you might be thinking it's malicious. Um, this isn't somebody who's like mean and cold and like you're catching them in lies. This is just where there's this air of mystery there. Like there's something deeper. There's more behind them and what they say and what they um, bring forward. Okay. But it's not, I don't get the sense of like malicious. It's more, I'm, I'm very private. Um, it takes a lot to penetrate my surface type of energy. All right. Um, because this person has a lot of depth to them. Uh, you can count on them. And they just kind of pick up on things and know things that most people don't um, pick up on. So let's uh, pull another card to see what other potential energies are around you. Oh, nice. So we got the turtle. All right. So, yeah, this is really wise, ancient um, energy, wise old soul in your midst this week. And I love that, you know, the turtles coming out under the meteorite. All right. To me, that is very high vibrating energy, very high wisdom, high consciousness. So Sagittarius, there is somebody giving you very sound advice this week. If you're feeling confused about something, um, you're not sure which way to go or there's this opportunity or offer handed to you, go to this trusted source. They will give you very sound advice. They will not steer you uh, incorrectly or on the wrong path. And here we have, you know, more of like earth-based creatures and then here we have water-based. So there's definitely emotions going this week uh, surrounding whatever it is that we want to solidify, we want to manifest in our life, in our world, okay? And uh, Bobcat came out under Rose Quartz. So again, this person, this energy or this idea, whatever's coming your way that you can't quite figure out, it's all right. Like just all in divine time but you are very busy this week so let's pull uh, some tarot and get a bit more information Sagittarius so far so good it looks like you're planning something really cool and um, you have some good support around you you have somebody offering you good ideas or really solid soulful advice um, water sign. I do feel many of you this comes through a water sign or somebody that's got very heavy water energy in their chart. Okay. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> and as I say that, Sagittarius, King of Cups, first thing out. Yeah. There is definitely a water energy around you or somebody who's very in tune with their soul with their wisdom and they're just going to give you very solid sound advice I feel like this is probably more early in the week rather than later in the week okay because of uh, you know where this card is falling and then we have the uh, five here what is this Oh, I'm, I'm like five of pentacles, but I'm like, am I, wait, am I wrong? Like, did I misinterpret? No, there they are right there. I almost missed them. I was like, wait a minute, Mandela effect, where'd they go? So anyways, here is a five. And, um, you know, this is some, some struggle. This is some challenging energy. Um, or, you know, because we have life as a mystery, this is where you're kind of afraid to go into the unknown, put yourself out there, take a risk, take a, take a jump, take a leap of faith. Uh, maybe there's some worry or concern that all the energy and efforts you're putting into something may not be appreciated or returned to you properly. Um, we're just, there's some sort of worry around this event, you know, or even if this is a person that's a mystery, you're definitely thinking the worst of them, okay? If you can't get through, you're thinking the worst of them. And again, I don't feel like that's so much the case. They're just a very closed up private person. But midweek, there's a change, a shift to your energy. So if like the first half of the week, you're just kind of a low energy, second half of the week, you're definitely in a different space. And you know, flipped if you're in a really high vibrating place first part of the week, there may be something where, you know, you just start getting worried and concerned. And I don't feel like there's any real reason. And if you are in that space, 
you know, seek out this advice of this, you know, water energy in your life because they will not steer you wrong. Yeah, because look at now, we have the Six of Swords. So you are wanting to move on from something. Um, definitely here's that trip coming through again, but there's worry and concern around it. And I, Sagittarius, I just don't feel like you really need to be. Because um, look at this. Under the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like Bobcat is Queen of Swords over here. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you know, or this is where you're getting really caught up in your head and emotional body worrying about what's to come the next step or what's going on with this person and I just I don't think you need to so far so good um, look at this we have strength under this five of pentacles so again it's to me oh and look at that's uh, there's the Leo energy right there we just had that uh, full moon in Leo total lunar eclipse and fives came out and they were very significant and you had the five of pentacles so I was gonna bring that up but I don't know if everybody watched that reading so I wasn't going to but now that that card came out right under the five I can't not Leo is fifth house energy we just had the last the fifth it was a series of five so there's another five um, with this full moon total lunar eclipse and that's boom right in the middle of your reading so to me there is this uh, wave of energy coming into your life this week that is kinda shaking things up or bringing in new opportunities for you but it makes you kind of um, nervous it maybe throws you off your guard like oh my god is this a good idea or is this too good to be true or um, you know I'm, I'm in this bind what do I do now uh, it's not as bad as you might think in your head or feel in your heart so remember that okay because um, look at here under six of swords we have the high priestess and that's also coming out under this turtle energy so yeah, there's somebody that's going to give you really sound advice this week or um, help you excel forward, move forward. If you're in any sort of like rut or you're confused or stuck about something, there is support that's like coming in for you. Um, you know, this could definitely be a person, but for others of you, I just get this is more of that air of mystery about um, different events unfolding this week, different choices you have to make, different people you are involved with, or some sort of trip or event or plans that are upcoming in the future, Six of Swords, you know, coming in the future. You know, don't get caught up in your emotion or your headspace about it because it's truly gonna be okay and you know if this is not a person that you are speaking to or, or seeking advice from then this is like your own intuition from your soul where if you just quiet your mind and kind of tap into that you'll be like all right I get it I totally understand what's going on but um, you know very predominant figures in your life two people a masculine and a feminine water and then air energy so let's pull you oh whoa hold on what do you want me to do with that okay I'm like whoa what was that all about um, I'm gonna move the whale down here I feel like oh right here okay health mother earth mother earth sweet mother earth bright bring to me your health and might now because this has come out and you also have strength Sagittarius if you are not feeling well and this has been ongoing okay any sort of issue I don't care if it's physical it's mental it's emotional if there's some issue that's been reoccurring reoccurring to me this is like go seek a professional go to the doctor you know whatever it is for you personally whatever it is like it could be minor or much bigger I just feel if you seek professional advice it's not as bad as you think it is, okay? And they'll be able to help you. Like your, if your energy's been really low, you know, I just, um, I really feel like you should go to the doctor or something 
get professional advice or help. Not that I see like there's anything crazy wrong here. It's just there may be something you're missing, okay, about um, your symptoms or what you're going through. And a professional might be like, oh, you know what, this medication may help or you're lacking in these certain um, vitamins and minerals and that's why you're feeling this way. It's something like that that or even those of you who are incredibly spiritual um oh yeah yep because oh okay yep those of you who are incredibly spiritual if you do not have any sort of ritual or crystals or anything like that that you utilize to ground your energy and protect your space if you've been feeling really drained lately or just in a weird funk you, there may be some energy vampires around you okay and uh, that is what's going on so for those of you who are incredibly spiritual you might want to look into some you know cleansing purging meditations practices different crystals you know that's what this is for right here so um, you know just watching this reading I definitely gift you that energy of protection and pushing away the negative energies the like energy vampire type of people that just like suck you dry um, yeah but other than that Sagittarius it looks like a very busy week and um, you can get through it. Make sure you get enough rest. Seek out the advice of somebody who is very trusted. And also, if you're not seeking advice and somebody that you do trust is offering you some advice, unsolicited, you might want to take it to heart even if it's not what you want to hear, okay? They might be like, look, you need to look at things from this perspective. I know you don't like it. I know you don't want to hear this. But if you just shift your perception and look at it this way, you will understand and it will free you, okay? Because we have the Six of Swords there. So if you're kind of really stuck in a thought or emotion about something this week, um, again, you may be given unsolicited advice, but take it, Sagittarius, because it's the what you need to know to move forward in whatever capacity that is for you personally, okay? So, Sagittarius, those are your messages for this week. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.